Hey everyone, Dave here, and as you may have seen by now, uh, I was tagged by one Mr. Tony Goldmark, aka Sumdrick with a camera, in the hashtag WDW tag survey chain letter vlog -a palooza thing. And since I do absolutely everything the internet tells me to do, I'm going to answer a whole bunch of questions about a place that I haven't been in four years, mostly focusing on things that I never focused on even when I did go to that place regularly. So I'm supposed to theoretically do this in under five minutes, so let's start the stopwatch and go. First time you went to Disney World, 2010 when I moved to Florida temporarily. I had been to Disneyland a bunch before that, but that was the first time at Disney World. There's a whole series of videos explaining that that you may have seen. Favorite Disney World park. Uh, it's a controversial, uh, controversial choice, but I'm going to go with Hollywood Studios, just because it has uh, the most of my favorite e-tickets. I know Magic Kingdom is technically a better park, but whenever I'm in Magic Kingdom, I just wish I was in Disneyland Park. Uh, favorite land in Magic Kingdom? New Fantasyland, uh, which was still in Soft Open last time I went, just because out of all the lands in Magic Kingdom, it's the one that I think has its the most distinct identity compared to its California counterpart. Uh, favorite on-site hotel? The Boardwalk. I never stayed at any on-site hotels, but I loved uh, walking around the lake at the Boardwalk. Uh, favorite snack? Probably Dole Whip. Favorite souvenir? Um, uh, those water bottle fans with the squirt, you know, they spray and you breeze yourself off. Those are very useful in the Florida sun. Uh, favorite table service? Uh, Be Our Guest wasn't open yet last time I went, but it looked cool. I really wanted to go there. Um, oh, obviously the Sci-Fi Dine-In. I went there once with Tony when he was in town, and uh, it was awesome. It's probably the closest we'll ever get to a Mystery Science Theater theme park presence. Uh, favorite counter service? Backlot Express at Hollywood Studios uh, by the exit of uh, the Indie Stunt Show. Not because the food was particularly great, but because it had both outlets and soda refills. So I would sometimes spend the day there with my laptop, uh, just editing Dave Does Disney or working on other stuff. Uh, favorite character dining? Only one I've ever eaten that was uh, Crystal Palace when Larry's family was in town. Favorite ride in all of Disney World? Uh, I guess the mansion since they don't have Indy. Uh, but out of ones that don't have a West Coast counterpart, I'm going to go with The Great Movie Ride, uh, just because it's unique. I mean, yes, it's a dark ride. It's fairly standard in that front, but the content is unique. There's no other ride quite like it. Uh, closest, honestly, is the Universal Backlot Tour, and that's a completely different animal. Least favorite ride? I'm going to say anything at Chester and Hester's Dinorama, just because... To my mind, that's the only land in Disney World that actively devalues the park it's in. Like, the rest of the park looks worse just because that's there. Uh, favorite show? I really did enjoy Beauty and the Beast live on stage, uh, even if it's very riffable, but that's mostly just because I love the songs of Beauty and the Beast. Um, favorite parade? Uh, parades are mostly just a traffic hazard as far as I'm concerned, but, you know, the electrical parade's always cool. Uh, favorite fireworks? Phantasmic, if that counts. Uh, if that doesn't count as fireworks, then Phantasmic's my favorite show, and Illuminations is my favorite fireworks. Favorite Epcot Pavilion? I'm going to go with Mexico, because it is the only one that is both well-themed and indoors. And uh, you're kind of desperate for both of those things when you're walking around Epcot. Last Magic Band color, I have not been to Florida since 2012, so my Magic Band was an antimatter band that was sent back in time by a crazed scientist from the future. Favorite face character meet and greet, uh, in my experience, Gaston is the character where the cast member is having the most fun performing him. Uh, I enjoy characters that uh, really give the cast a chance to stretch their improv skills, so Gaston wins on that count. Favorite non-face character meet and greet, um... Uh, Phineas and Ferb. I think they're not there anymore, and that makes me sad. Favorite character you haven't met but want to? The reason I haven't met him is because so far he doesn't exist in a Disney park, but I really want there to be a Grunkle Stan meet and greet. Get on that, Disney. Grunkle Stan in every park in every resort. Favorite attraction that is no longer there? There are a lot of attractions that closed before I ever went to Disney World that I wish I had a chance to ride. Out of all of those, uh, the big one is probably the original Journey into Imagination, just because that was, to my mind, the biggest downgrade. E even bigger than Stitch's Great Escape, because at least that one still 
technically impressive in a lot of ways. Uh, your biggest Disney World, your best Disney World memory, rather. I don't know, it's all kind of a blur of pleasant memories. Like, that's the thing, when I didn't really take specific Disney World vacations, but just visited there over the course of living there. I'm going to go with uh, seeing Neil Patrick Harris do the candlelight processional at Epcot around Christmas. Um, favorite time of year to attend Disney World? Let's say February. Uh, not too hot, not too crowded, and not too decked out for Christmas anymore. Favorite Disney water park? Never been to any of them. Uh, Blizzard Beach looked cool. Uh, actually, I really liked the uh, pool area of the beach club with that water slide. Uh, favorite Disney water park slide? See previous answer. Monorail or ferry boat? Neither. Park at the Contemporary Resort and walk to Magic Kingdom. Movie you would love to see represented in one of the parks. Ever since I was a kid going to Disneyland, I really wanted there to be a Mary Poppins dark ride. The closest we get is one scene in the great movie ride, but you know that it would make a great ride on its own. Um, favorite dance party? I guess the one in Tomorrowland because it's the only one I ever really noticed as I walked past it. Favorite Main Street shop? I guess the Emporium. Favorite Disney Spring shop? I always loved the art of Disney, even though I never bought anything there, but I just loved uh, witnessing the full spectrum of artwork from the great to the Thomas Kincaid. Uh, favorite seasonal event? Star Wars weekends, I guess. And that's the last question, and five minutes and 56 seconds. Just one minute over. I was almost impressive. That's my life story, almost impressive. So now I have to tag uh, new people to do this. Um, let's see. I tag Mikey Insanity, uh, Zenith Will Rule, and Matthew Iannone. Just because uh, those are three people who I'm pretty sure have been to Disney World. So, uh, yeah, you guys know what to do. Film yourself answering these questions and post it on the internet for all the people who care. Well, that's all I have to say, so, uh, yeah, I should go to Disneyland. This is Dave, signing off.